What's up guys, Black Hole Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Second Manager 2020 for stage number 13 of our Giro d'Italia playthrough, a sprint stage between Servia and Monserice for this 13th day of the Italian Grand Tour. If you made the previous episode, then go ahead and check them out. Uh, today's stage, as I said, is a sprint one of just 187 kilometers with Alvaro Hood and Davide Ballarini as my main two chances of victory. Um, we, we were on a good streak, won a good streak, um, four consecutive podiums, a win in the previous episode with Davide Ballarini. We're currently second as well in the GC with James Snoke, so everything is going our plan, uh, is going to plan, sorry, as uh, we are uh, near the uh, end of the second week. But without further ado, let's jump in for this sprint stage. And we're on the way for this uh, six, no, we're on the way, the four stage 13 of this Giro d'Italia, plus one for Alvaro Hodge, plus two for Davide Ballerini. That is absolutely perfect. We're going to send Peter Seri as well in the breakaway. Uh, I don't expect the break to go and win, but should it do, uh, these final climbs toward the end, the Paso Rovello and Calaone, uh, might prove to be um, an element of surprise for the peloton, or at least a chance maybe for some riders in the breakaway to um, to, to make their, their last, no, to allow them to go longer in the break. <laughs> the word I was looking for, I'm still looking for it, so you in it. Uh, the word I was looking for was extend. Uh, it took me 30 kilometers to find it. Uh, but no, uh, we're, we're good. We're good. And we do have a six man breakaway of Gisagiv, Mazzuko, Luca Wackerman, Danny Lovis, Nico Dens, and uh, Filippo Zana. And because I was trying actively to find the word extend, I forgot to send Peter Seri in the break. So they better not win. All right, we've entered the final 30 kilometers. Uh, we're also starting the Paso Roverero. Um, Rove wait, wait, hold up. What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Where's the Monte San Bartolo? Oh, so the climb is the Monte San Bartolo, but the summit is the Paso Roverero. Okay, I get it. Get it. Uh, we've got some attacks in the break. Danilovis Gisagiv uh, cannot continue any further. Nikodens, Luke Wackerman, and Mazzuko Nikodens cannot continue either. Luke Wackerman and Mazzuko are the two riders able to carry on in the leading group. Uh, I have lost many positions, both with James Snokes and Alvaro Hudge. I expected Alvaro Hudge to lose places. I did not expect James Snokes to get dropped this far down. I don't know what happened to uh, our English rider, but uh, he better fix it ASAP because I'm currently not happy. We're going to attack with, Ma with Masnada as well. Overtake Wackerman. Uh, and take second place behind Matsuko for the mountain points. Matlotioni gets third. Uh, James, you better come across with the first group here. I'm I'm not being funny. Genuinely. Uh, where's Ballerini? Ballerini, Ballerini sorry, is living life. So is Peter Seri, which is absolutely perfect to see. Uh, Fausto can stop pacing for now. And we'll let Kofidis chase him down. Uh, Kofidis obviously pacing for Elia Viviani. Thomas Lorenz attacking to get the point at the Calaone. Uh, we, we followed him with uh, with Masnada because it's it's funny. Um, not sure we'll be able to beat him though. But a, a, a man can try. De Rent is going to block us and it's going to be points for the Belgian. Now, does he want to relay and go in the break? I wouldn't be against that. I wouldn't be against a breakaway of 13 kilometers with Thomas De Rent. On paper, sounds like something I'd be quite interested in actually. We've been joined by Tony Gallopin. But the peloton uh, has had enough of our local escapade, uh, or escapade, uh, if I was to pronounce it in a French, very French manner, uh, and eco us. But it's fine, because we're going to ready ourselves for El Finale Sprint. Uh, Almeida, Peter Seri, Davide Ballerini, Rames Nox. Perfect. 5k to go. We're going to use the gel. Joe Almeida can increase his rhythm already, get ourselves at the front, uh, make sure that Feline isn't in my wheel, perfect. All right, come on. Uh, I need to be smart. Demar is in my wheel. It's going to be a sprint purely on power, and on power alone, Arnaud is much quicker than Peter Seri, than Ballerini, but I mean also the Peter Seri, but mainly Davide Ballerini. Uh, oh, Vincenzo is already in my wheel, you love to see it. Well then. Mass sprint, and it's a win for Arnaud Demar today. Uh, ahead of Ballerini, Peter Seri, Ben Swift. Okay, yeah. 
It's another second place. That's my fifth. Um, that's my fifth podium in a row with Ballerini. So it's incredible. Uh, but big up Arno. Arno is by far the fastest. Uh, and he beats Ballerini and Pete Serri, the two riders I said were, they were quicker than him. James Knox, 12th. No, 13th. Nibali, 12th. Brilliant. And it's another win for Arno Demar on this zero. There's really two sprinters better than the others. Ballerini and Demar, like in real life, Arno. Uh, showing by far that he's the fastest. Ballerini and Pizzeri complete the podium. Very nice third place of Pizzeri, actually. I just realized, like, this, but it's a nice uh, third place for him. Ben Swift's in fourth place. Hadn't seen much of him uh, recently. Nibali still is in the, the pick jersey with Knox and Lopez. No changes whatsoever in the top 10. In the mountain classification, Fausto Masnada finally appears in the top 10. He is now a whopping 66 points behind Thomas de Hens. Davide Ballerini maintains his lead in the Ciclamino jersey, but loses a few points to Arno. Uh, the gap being now 25 points, just a win between uh, the two riders. James Knox still third place, you love to see it. James Knox is still in white as well, ahead of Joel Maida, and the best team is still Astana. I think I've said basically all I needed. Um, Demar was the quickest, Ballerini jumps him in second, with Peter Seri, my lead out man, finishing on, uh, in third place. It's I mean, yeah, don't think I could have done anything else. Maybe launch a bit earlier, I hadn't seen that, was, um, that there was much corners. Or many corners, um, but I'm happy with second and third. I'm happy with that. Um, GC wise, nothing changes. Maybe the GC could change tomorrow. Yes, it will. It will, as we've got a time trial between Coneliano and Valdo Biadenne. Uh, Vincenzo Nebeli will be facing James Knox. I mean, who could genuinely benefit here? Let's take a look. 74 and 74, 68 and 6 and 71. Oh, I'm fucked. 67, 70, I'll finish ahead of me on Lopez. 72, 74, 67, 70, 67, 72, 69, 60, 70, uh, 64, 72, 73, 70, 72, 73, 70. Okay. Genuinely speaking, Vincenzo could wrap the, the Giro tomorrow. He has plus 6 in flat and plus 3 in time trial. Unless James has a plus five, I will lose a big tomorrow. Uh, Joe could try to do some. Yeah, no, they're, they're all shit in in, um, in in flat though. That's peak. All right, well then, we'll see how that goes. Um, but that would be for tomorrow's episode of the Giro. If you've enjoyed this one, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new around here and would like to see more of my content, then why not subscribing to my channel? Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And I shall see you. In the very near future, in that case, tomorrow, for stage number 30, 14 of the Giro d'Italia. In the meantime, have a great day. Enjoy the Giro. My name has been Blackwell, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster. buster.